What's going on my Cardano friends? It is your friend Jack and in today's video we're going to be going over some Cardano news and what is the latest news this week in Cardano as well as a new emerging industry inside of the Cardano ecosystem and a lot of traction that it's bringing. So with that being said, let's get right into the video. First things first though, if you have ADA and you want to earn passive ADA on your ADA, please consider staking with the Jack stake pool. Now today's video is brought to you by Siraj on Twitter, a great thread we're going to be covering with a bunch of interesting news on Cardano and if you want to follow him, this thread will be leaving linked down in the description as well as our upcoming youtube channel podcast i said thanks for putting out some awesome content on the space and what's going on but now let's dig into actually what's going on first things first i covered this in yesterday's video but forbes did an article on cardano nfts and cardano nfts are in general this week in the past two weeks been pretty on fire the highest or the third highest entire volume of blockchain landscape for nfts but also hitting a new all-time high for cardano ever in the middle of a bear market in terms of ADA volume transacted through NFTs. Another really positive development in the space is Flint Wallet and releasing their new version 1.23 or 23.0. And this is now on iOS and supports NFTs and even animated NFTs. Very positive news for the user experience and user adoption, having this available to them, a simple, easy to use wallet with the support for Cardano NFTs, which have simultaneously been booming as this feature releases so in great timing it has came and this feature comes now as apple has removed the restrictions regarding the involvement of nfts for those of you who love scaling news we have some news on a new release of hydra the input output hong kong team behind hydra is consistently making progress and the steady progress comes at a time when projects like sunny swap are demonstrating the possibilities with hydra and basically clicking send 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 and all this from jackson's going through instantaneously not just Hydra, but the Cardano development forges are burning bright and Cardano development is making a steady progress. Friday saw the highest number of activity with 834 commits pushed across 49 repositories by 99 different authors and Mithril saw the highest development activity with 483 commits this week alone. If you don't know, Mithril is essentially going to allow light wallets to act as a full node in terms of security and it is going to change a lot of the game especially hopefully when we see lace wallet be deployed live for our users all across the cardano blockchain Siraj also leaves us a link to the weekly cardano development update if you want to go ahead and take a look this will be linked down in the thread of the description below but essentially the key highlights are ongoing work on core technology improvements new data list and pre-production version released marlow runtime used to execute Actus contracts, new Hydra v1 specification update, Funnite ecosystem rewards distributed, really solid, that means more Cardano development is ongoing, and the projects that got funded are now receiving those funds. 103 projects launched on Cardano so far, 100, or sorry, 1,127 projects building on Cardano, 63,000 token policies, 6.5 million native tokens or NFTs and other fungible tokens, and 3,500 Plutus scripts or smart contracts with 52.9 million total number of transactions. Also important in the news is the voting for the Summit Awards of Cardano are now open. If you want to vote and you want to go show which community you support and which people you support in getting these rewards for certain subjects, you can do that by going ahead and going to Cardano Foundation's voting website, which will be li linked down in the description along with this thread. Now, next up, as I talked about earlier, we have LACE, the beta program just launched. You now have the opportunity to test the LACE platform. If you want to sign up for the beta program and be a beta tester, you can. The more users testing could ensure a bug-free mainnet launch, which is obviously what we want for better user experience and just a better experience for everyone overall. So go ahead, sign up before October 31st to be included in the next testing cohort. So that means you pretty much have to sign up today, the video release. Uh, but if not, there's going to have more different cohorts, I'm sure. So keep updated by following Lace.io's Twitter and their other social medias. Next up in the Cardano news, we have an interesting tweet from our friend Cardano Will explaining the utility of SPO liquidity bonds. Now, this is interesting because a lot of people, they don't have enough ADA to get off the ground to produce blocks in their stake pool. But with SPO liquidity bonds by Optum Finance, they're really creating something revolutionary in DeFi here and allow a lot of people to bootstrap themselves off the ground with their own stake pools. Essentially, you borrow ADA staking rights plus rewards for a fixed period, earn yield above staking while helping decentralized Cardano as small pools bootstrap themselves, no collateral required and tradable on secondary markets. So pretty cool stuff, interesting liquidity bonds and 
Optimify is bringing in a load of other things. We're going to do more videos on them for sure. But this is one of the things that definitely helps to centralize Cardano and bootstrap smaller stake pools that don't yet have that pull to get enough ADA in their pools, say 6 million like you guys have provided me, uh, to actually mint blocks regularly and continue to be profitable or at least break even as a stake pool. Speaking of decentralization, a DAO governance platform from Wing Riders has successfully launched and completed their first DAO voting and also announced the new release of new open source repositories. We always like to see more things being open source so other people can build off of them. It's a growing ecosystem and that helps it grow that much faster. This is an exciting step forward for transparency and inclusivity overall. And it's good to see Wing Riders bringing a more open source code to the platform that is Cardano and the DEX is all around it. Also in the news is an active discussion going on amongst the passionate community members of Cardano regarding the minimum pool fee. Right now, it is 340 ADA. This means if your operator mints one block, they're going to take 340 ADA of that block's rewards, which if you're only minting one block, it's like 30 to 50 percent. It really depends. Um, a lot of it, right? They're taking a lot of it. If they're small pool, it's basically it puts a stopgap on small pools rewards and people are or obliged to go to pools that mint more blocks so that 340 min fee is less of percent of their rewards um, but there's a lot of people talking about it there's also an article by input outputs explaining the staking parameters and the network optimization so you yourself can get a grasp on it and form your own opinion there's also a twitter space done on this there's a lot of discussion going around on how we can make this better how we can allow small pools to still participate and you know keep the min fee at a point where people can still make money and they're not driving themselves to zero or no profit at all because that overall would be good for the cardano blockchain and the decentralization of it at least i don't think so so if you want to put your views in there if you want to learn more about this topic go ahead and tune into it from these two channels linked in the tweet thread that is in the description of this video finally the last piece of news is that the cardano 360 is here for the month of october and you can see it at your own viewing this gives you an informative overview of the development updates that we've covered today and more and also interviews from two cardano events that were live in-person events royal bloom 2022 and CNFTCon. these are two of the largest events we've had for cardano ever and they were community built so it's pretty awesome to see interviews from them and news about them but overall that's all i have for you guys today except for the industry the new industry coming into cardano which you've probably been wondering uh, by the title what that is and that is adult film okay i know most people you may have seen this person before uh but elsa Jean is putting videos out on how to open a nami wallet and going to be releasing a Cardano NFT collection in the adult film section. Um, and it's pretty cool to see that this post gets like 1900 likes. Basically, she's making a NAMI wallet, she's creating it and showing people how to do it and how to get into crypto, onboarding a whole new sector of people into crypto with this type of tech and also definitely profiting from it. But people, new industries and all types of people are going to be coming into Cardano. I know I said people twice there. This is no exception. If Cardano is going to be a world finance operating system, it's going to include every nook and cranny and it's going to be available for everybody. This is awesome to see though, tons more people coming to Cardano that haven't heard about it before, even in a bear market and more interest in general. So I'm really glad to see stuff like this. I think it's awesome. And that's all I have for you guys today in this video. See you guys in tomorrow's video. Stick with the Jack Stake Pools or passive ADA on your ADA and I'll see you next one.